Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. La, 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 la. Here I come with a big stack of dinner dishes, Claudia. It can't be, David. They're all in the sink, yeah. practically. Now, now where, where, where will I put them? Oh, we'll just put them on the kitchen table, please, till I yeah. finish washing these. Yes, and don't Anne break any, do you hear? Break them? Have I ever broken a dish in my you life? You certainly have. Don't hand me As that. As Madam wishes, I will put them here. Or do you think the kitchen table can withstand the load, The Madame? load. <laughs> Two cups. Two saucers. I'll Two little spoons. do my best to make it work, madame. The other ladies who employed me were quite satisfied, I trust. Oh, poor fools. Poor fools. Say, listen, David, all joking aside, why? When we've been getting along without a maid all this time, why does it seem so much worse now? Because now that we know we can't have one, now's the time we really want one. Oh. That, Claudia, that, my dear girl, is psychology. Oh, that's what that is. That's what that is. I see. Maybe if we'd used a little psychology on Emma when she came up here to look at the place, Don't why... Don't mention wouldn't have... her name. Anyway, it wouldn't have done a bit of good. How do you know? You know, since she turned us down, the employment agency won't even send us any more candidates from New York. Why, the audacity of the employment agency. They have crossed us off their list. They didn't cross <laughs> us off their list. They crossed <laughs> off the animals. Oh, poor Shakespeare. You see, you've hurt his feelings. Mm. He He's frightens me. He's anti-social, aren't you, mm-hmm. Captain? A veritable public enemy. I have no sympathy for people who are afraid of pets, especially pets like cats and dogs. Mm, people can't always help it. Mm. Sometimes it's a disease. Oh, I don't believe it. People like that are just abnormal. I see. So, in the future, we won't allow any maids afraid of cats and dogs to be our maid, That's all right? That's just it. And by not doing so, we've, we've saved ourselves a whole week's wages. A whole week? Aren't we smart? Mm-hmm. That makes us rich. Yes. <laughs> uh, have any ideas of what we'll do with all that money? Well, uh, let's see. Can we buy another Great Dane with it? Fine. That's it. That's it. That, that'll that make it that much cozier to get another maid. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the way I figured it out. Mm-hmm. Say, you know, I don't even know where to look for one. There isn't any employment agency up here. Well, you could uh, look under some baskets and boxes. Oh, yes, or under the sink. (laughs) Too bad they don't uh, handle maids at the grocery store, you know. Oh, well, maybe something will turn up. (laughs) Something will turn up? I think something just turned up then. What was that? Oh, nothing, just the pipes, darling. Don't get nervous. Pipes? I never noticed them doing that before. Neither did I. What's all the fuss? Fuss? I'm not, I'm not fussing. Pipe sounds as if they're running away. Like they've gone. I, I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> they've just broken into a trot. <laughs> hey, look over there. Is, is the water still running? <gasps> it's coming out in spurts. This is all very ominous. Oh, it's nothing, David. They just like to make a little noise. They like to. Mm-hmm. Pipes do it all the time. That's the way they have fun. I see. The pipe I smoke doesn't do it. (laughs) (laughs) They do it all the time when something isn't going right, if you take my word for it. Probably stop in a minute. What could possibly be wrong? (laughs) How would I know what's wrong? I'm I'm an architect, not a plumber. A little noise, David. It doesn't mean anything, probably. It even used to happen in New York. Well, I think I'd better go down in the cellar and investigate this mystery. If you are an architect and not a plumber... I don't see what good your investigating is going to do. Darling, even an architect can see if the cellar is flooded. The cellar could be flooded? Mm-hmm. Well, David, why didn't you say so? What I, are you just standing there for? I didn't say it for? is flooded. I, I merely suggested that David, it might be. David, this is be. serious. Our clean wash is down there. Well, it doesn't cost us a cent to open the cellar door and look. Hurry up. The wash will get wet. You going to turn on the light? Oh, wait a minute. Quiet a minute. Yeah. What do you hear? I was just listening to hear if the pump's still going. Well, is it? Well, be still. No, no. Can't hear it. Good or bad, you can't hear it. Medium. Well, turn on the light and see if it's flooded. Yeah. How about it? What do you see? No. No, no what? it isn't flooded. Well, what is it? I don't know. Do you it see anything? 
How's my wash? Your wash? Wait a minute, I'll look. Is it dry? No, the wash isn't flooded either. Oh, good. <laughs> well, listen, darling, be careful. Don't... Oh, dear. Well, it can't be anything serious if the wash isn't wet and if the floor well, it isn't It can't be flooded. serious, sir. It wouldn't be fair anyway on top of not being able to get a maid. This house wouldn't do something like that to us, would it? Are you kidding? Certainly not kidding. See, listen. Yeah. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as it was before. Yeah. I think it's going away. I, I thought it sounded worse. David. Now what? The water has stopped altogether. Are you sure it's turned on? Well. Well, let's settle it. Where are you going? To telephone the plumber. Wait for me. Can a man even call the plumber by himself anymore? Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Maxwell. Mr. Maxwell? Hello, this is this is David Norton on River Road. Yes, River Road. How are you? Well, I'm I'm fine. Oh, yes, that's fine. Say, uh, Mr. Maxwell. Yeah, yeah. Yes, well, 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 Mr. Maxwell, we're having a little trouble here tonight. Say, David. Shh, buddy, I can't hear him. Yes, Mr. Maxwell? Shakespeare, now, what do you want? Oh, I'd better go back to the kitchen and see what he wants. You don't need me, do you, David? Shh. Well, first the pipe started to make a lot of noise and banging and... David, never mind. The water's running again. Well, yes, Mr. Maxwell. David, you hear me? The water's running again. Well, I looked at that. Oh, it stopped. Well, that's fine, Mr. Maxwell. All right, Mr. Maxwell. What's he saying now? All right, Mr. Maxwell, I'll try that. That that sounds like a good idea. What sounds like a good idea? Very good, Mr. Maxwell. We'll we'll do that right away. Thank you very much. David, what does he say is the matter? He said he didn't know. He took all that time to say he didn't know? And he also said he'd come right over. In the middle of the evening? Mm-hmm. Really? In the country? Plumbers are just like doctors, aren't they? He also told me a lot of things that might be causing the trouble. What were they? Well, the worst of them is a... Broken pipe. Broken pipe? Where? Where? Well, now, where would you like it to be? Well... Maybe even in the attic. No, no, or I wouldn't where like the that. water tank is. Oh, that's worse. Have you a choice, madam? How, how about the attic? Oh, no. Water dripping down on everything else in the house. We'd better go right up and see. Hey, hey, come back here. Now, don't run upstairs like that. I'm not running. I'd like to know what you call it. David, it might be leaking into our closet. Well, well, is it? No, no. Maybe nothing's broken after all. You haven't looked yet. I don't have to look. Wouldn't I just see the water lying on the floor? Well, it shouldn't be so deep so fast. So what's the wet? Don't you hear something dripping? I think so. Be still. Oh, David, over there. Oh, dear. Over where? Uh Uh-oh, here it is. Oh, where's the rag? Quick, we better mop it off. No, not that one. That's my best tablecloth. Here, how about this? Oh, yeah, all right. That's right. Give it to me. Yeah. What are we uh, going to do? Well, the rag won't do any good. Well... Here, here, I'll get a bucket and, and put the bucket down right here. And then we'll sit and wait for the plumber. Uh-uh. No? Nope. Nope. Trouble at the elbow. Nope. Try it again. Uh, uh-huh. And it's all fixed, Mr. Maxwell? All fixed, Miss Norton. Not a thing to it. Just the neatest little hole you ever did see. All that noise for one little hole? Whenever you hear those old pipes banging, you can be pretty sure something's the way it oughtn't to be. Let me see it. Well, we're very grateful you came over this late, Mr. Maxwell. Huh. Grateful ain't the word for it, Mr. Norton. You folks are lucky. I was just leaving the house when you called. Oh, weren't we lucky? Why, it would have gone right through the floor if you hadn't got here right away. It would have taken me four days to get here if you hadn't caught me. Four days? Uh-huh. I'm leaving on a fishing trip upstate. Leaving right from your door. Mm, must be pretty good fishing upstate, isn't it, Mr. Mack? Sure is. My husband's partner's coming up tomorrow. They're going fishing here. That's uh, right. Is that a fact? Yeah. Uh, have to go together sometime, Mr. Norton. Love to. Well, I guess you won't have no more trouble for a while, and I'll be saying good night. Well, good night, and uh, many thanks. Good night. Good night, Mr. Maxwell. Good night, Miss Norton. Well... Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, uh, maybe this is a little bit nosy, me. Oh, no, it isn't. What is it? I was just wondering if you 
do all your own housework, Miss Norton. Yes, yes, I do. I didn't see anybody else around, so I kind of thought you did. Well, she does, I'm afraid. I don't mean to be intruding any, but I thought maybe you could use some help. My sister-in-law, my brother's dead two years, is a right good cook, and she sure is handy around the house. She's uh, looking around. You mean your sister-in-law would consider working for us? I didn't mean to be intruding exactly, but if you could use somebody. Not this week yet, but uh, beginning the week after. She's a mighty fine cook. Oh. And how she does the wash. Looks like mountain snow, my brother used to say. You mean she does the laundry, too? I can't read the mind, then, Miss Norton, so I ain't exactly sure she'd work for you, but I'd say it's a pretty good bet she would. Well, it's almost worth having leaky pipes to hear you say <laughs> that, Mr. Maxwell. Well, sir, I didn't mean to be intruding, none. Oh, you haven't been. Glad to help. Uh, tell you what. When I get back from a fishing, I'll call you folks up and bring my sister-in-law around. Why? Her name's Gert. Well... Night, folks. Mr. Maxwell, you've been marvelous, hasn't he, David? Mm, he fixed up all of our domestic problems in one visit. <laughs> Pipes ought to be fine now. Everything's working just right, so I can go fishing with an easy conscience. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll catch lots more fish that way. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so. Good night. Good night. night. David, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> We're a couple of pretty lucky people. I hope you appreciate it. I do appreciate it. When other people's pipes burst, that means trouble. When ours burst, it's a, it's, it's a, a bonanza. <laughs> Is that the word I meant? Mm, it'll do. <laughs> Come on, darling, let's start washing the dishes. I knew Gertrude won't be here for a week. <coughs> David, did you hear something? Me? No. No, I, I didn't hear anything. <coughs> Oh. But I... I think I'll just start to hum a little, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. When pipes bang, it may mean real trouble. Isn't that what Mr. Maxwell said before leaving for four days? Oh, I, I still can't hear a thing, darling. You're right. I can't hear anything either. La, 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 la. Shopping and marketing may irritate you, but they have to be done regularly. Next time you're looking for a blue suit and they have nothing but brown, next time you have to wait in line at the grocer's, tell you what to do. Pause and refresh at the familiar red cooler. Coca-Cola coolers can be found in so many places nowadays, and you'll find it's far pleasanter to shop refresh. Oh, Mr. King! If ever you need a plumber, let me know. How about it, eh? Mr. Maxwell, seems to me you're a better maid-getter than you are a plumber. Well, if you ever need a maid, let me know. How about it, eh? <laughs> oh, that I will. Fine. So long. Oh, wait a minute. You're in quite a hurry there, aren't you? <sighs> Certainly am. I'm off on a fishing trip. Oh, so you said. You know, Mr. Norton's going trout fishing tomorrow. I sure do wish him a good catch. There's nothing like a day in a trout stream. So David will find out tomorrow. Well, I won't keep you. Goodbye, Mr. Maxwell. So long, fella. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, Think of Coca-Cola, for Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes, and ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor...